Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Boy, a great tip today that comes up over and over and over again. I had a list of data. It was a sales forecast from the field and I have last week's version and I have this week's version and I need to see what changed from last week to this week. Now, this data set only has 20 records, but in reality, this technique would work for hundreds or thousands of records. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my data from last week and I'm going to have a new column called source and I will fill in a source, let's say of something like last week, control enter to fill that in all the cells. And then I'll take my new forecast from this week. I'm going to copy those records and paste it just below the records from last week. This time I'm going to use a value in the source column of this week. Now I'll take this data set with the records from both last week and this week and create a pivot table data pivot table. I'll just click finish and say that we want customers going down the side. We want the forecast as the data item and the source going across the top. Now I have a great view of exactly what has changed all these records where there was nothing last week. And now we have a value. We know that those are new forecasts and the records where we had data last week and now nothing. Those forecasts must have been deleted by the sales force. And then you can also go through and eyeball which records change from week to week. Very quick way to get a comparison of two lists to see which items changed. So you can go take action on those using a pivot table to compare two lists. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.